under a government plan due to take effect by the end of the year. Both doses of the medication currently have to be taken in a clinic 24 to 48 hours apart. Wales and Scotland have already legalised home use of the drug. Well, joining us now is the Deputy Chief Executive of the Society for the Protection of Unborn Children, John Deegan. Thank you very much for joining us here on BBC News. First off, what's your, what's your reaction to this announcement? Well, we're disappointed. We're still um, looking at uh, legal action in Scotland to, to stop this policy from the Scottish Government. It's a further trivialisation of abortion. There's an enormous number of abortions in society, uh, a fifth of pregnancies almost. And so we need to be looking at ways to stop that rather than encourage it by the... Oh, John. Uh, John, it looks like we don't have uh, the best line there. If we, if we do manage to get them up, we'll, we'll continue our discussion on the news that women in England are to be allowed to take early abortion medication in their home. Uh, that move is set to be put in place by the end of the year. Um, I do believe we have John Deegan back uh, with us. Um, so we were just talking about your reaction there to this news, and you're saying it trivialises abortion. Why would you say that? Well, because it sounds easy for people to take a pill. Um, we're used to taking pills for headaches, if we've got the flu. You know, this is taking a pill that ends the life of a, a baby in the womb. It means that a woman goes home, she delivers her own baby in, in her house. It's quite a traumatic experience to go through. She sees the reality that there's a tiny dead baby after this procedure. Um, I mean, obviously, a lot of women receive counselling and they are ex everything is explained as to what they're going to be going through. What I'm really interested here is not the fact that they're um, terminating a pregnancy with the pill. This has been going on. What I'm interested in is your reaction to them taking the pill at home because you mounted uh, a legal challenge against the Scottish decision and you were overruled. Well, we, that, that's not the end of the story. There's still further um, recourse that we can have in the, in the legal front. We, we intend to do that. Um, basically, it's quite simple. People have to have an abortion under medical supervision. To do it at home, to be taking a pill away yourself, it is, it, it, to common sense, that, that's simply not in, in keeping with the law. The 1967 Abortion Act should restrict abortion. The aim was that women shouldn't be having back street abortions. That's what people were told at the time, and now they're having backroom abortions because they basically are uh, away from clinics, away from medical supervision, uh, with very powerful drugs which are, have a high level of side effects. Um, John, you can just finally and very quickly, um, uh, this is a, an increase in the choice for women. It makes it safe, it makes sure that they have digni dignified care. Um, do you accept that as an improvement, a, a forward step? No, it's, it's, a, it's a regressive step for women. We know that women are often coerced into abortion. We know that people, they, they, they increasingly have to take the burden on their own shoulders, and this, this leaves them with all the burden. There's no medical supervision. It's easy to coerce them. We don't know the conditions which they're having their abortion in. We don't know the conditions of their home. We don't know if it's a safe place. And I, I think it's, um, it's, it's a very backward step for women. It's a backward step for, for medical care and the resources of NHS to be used in this way. Okay, John Deegan, thank you very much for joining us, the Deputy Chief Executive of the Society for the Protection of the Unborn Child.